Hey guys, what is going on? It's Huckleberry, and today I want to show you how I have my Black Ops 2 game set up from options and what I have in, in the barracks, and also the classes that I'm currently using. Uh, so this is just a, a quick overview of how I play and, and what works for me. Uh, so hopefully this will uh, you'll find some of this useful. So the first thing I want to do is just take you guys into the options, tell you how I've configured the game. I'll, I'll be brief, I don't want to bore you. Uh, my button layout is on tactical, my uh, look sensitivity is on, on 12. I used to be down around 8 or 9, but then I got the FPS freaks and uh, have been able to increase it. So I'm comfortable now at the 12 range, I'm, I don't want to go any higher. And I can tell when I'm lower that I don't aim as fast. Uh, for audio settings, I this is really important to me. Uh, I turn the vi the music volume all the way down. I don't want to hear any music. The Codcasters can be kind of loud when they say things, and I found that if you just lower this to a third of the total value, you'll still hear them say things like enemy UAV. It's just going to be quieter. It's not going to bother you as much. And you, what ends up happening then is you end up hearing other things in the game much more clearly. And uh, like, you know, when, when Betty's trigger and when people yell stuff, unfortunately, you hear the avatars yelling, but that could be good and bad. Um, so I'm kind of able to isolate the gate, the parts of the game that I want to hear and, and, uh, and remove the ones that I don't. The other thing is the voice volume. I don't want to hear people talking as, you know, as loud. So I will lower that a little bit. And then when I do have their mic, they have their mics on, they're a little quieter. Um, also, I recommend you changing your preset. If you're going to have headphones on, there's a mix uh, preset for headphones. Okay, uh, also wanted to tell you just a quick, you can load multiplayer by default, so you don't go through the whole menu and have to choose it. And then I've linked my uh, Black Ops to YouTube, so I can load uh, some quick two-minute videos. They have to be under two minutes, but if you just go into your theater mode and you record uh, a part of a game, you can then load it immediately to YouTube. It, it's a little slow, uh, but it will load directly to your channel. And then I haven't put any audio on it, but you'll see a couple of videos from me where I've done this and just quickly loaded the, the uh, video up to YouTube. All right, the next thing I want to show you is my barracks and uh, what I have uh, for my combat record and things like that. So um, I have uh, 2.3 KD, 1.41 win loss, uh, 376 score per minute. I'm approaching a thousand wins. Uh, that'll be good to get over that milestone. And I uh, played for about eight days, so uh, quite addicted. But it was good to get away for a week and not play play this game as much. Now I'm just trying to get good gameplays for you guys and do strange and and unique setups. So going quickly through the weapons, the MSMC is my favorite weapon by far. That's why it tops this list. You'll see a lot of SMGs. Uh, at the beginning because those are those are good uh, <laughs> if you want to have good games. Um, now I'm using more of the other weapons. The, AN the AN-94 is my favorite assault rifle and I really like the Scorpion lately. I've been using that above all the SMGs. As the SCAR, probably my second favorite just due to how powerful it is and it's a challenging weapon to use uh, but I enjoy using that gun. I'll show you. I have a class with the SCAR. KSG is, uh, other than the MSMC, I think it's my second favorite gun in the game, and it's definitely my favorite shotgun. And uh, people really rage hard when you use this because you can kill them so quickly. You just have to make sure that you always aim down sight because there's just a single slug, and with a red dot, it's extremely accurate, and it has a really long range, and you will surprise yourself if when you use this how, how effective it can be. The single shot weapons like the you know the burst fire and single shot I'm not using those as much but I will do videos on those later on. Let me know if you want to see some of those like the SMR. I know that's a lesser used weapon. And the the light machine guns I've been trying to get good gameplays with the light machine guns. So I have four classes for you uh, on the light machine guns. I'll show you how I run those. And uh, not many kills with the other other weapons here. So equipment uh, yeah, I use a lot of Bouncing Bettys, and uh, pretty much for most of the prestiges. Now that I'm at the end, I, I've stopped using them as much. Now I'm using more Black Hats and EMP Grenades. 
um, in C4. So in score streaks, I think it's pretty hard not to have UAV as your as your highest used. Um, I at one point I looked through all of my score streaks, and I think my the hunter killer had the most kills out of any other score streak. I, I don't know why, but it, it gets quite a bit of kills. You can see there are more than half the time I get a kill. Um, we got over 300 V sats, over 200 sentries, almost 200 stealth, uh, 43 swarms, 33 warthogs, 30 load stars, uh, 26 VTOLs. 20 K9s and uh, not many of the other ones. So I uh, wanted to show you quickly what that looks like and then I'll jump right into my created class and tell you how I'm using those. So my uh, I have 10 classes now. Uh, I don't know which prestige you get 10 classes but I always recommend that you unlock the create a class uh, option so you have your 10 your 10 classes. Uh, this is my fun class. I don't normally, you know, have a great gameplay with this. It's very hard, but it is a lot of fun when you don't really care and you just run around and frustrate people. So it's kind of speed class with the with the assault shield and the combat axes, and you can replenish those. And then I put on the Tac 45 because it's not considered overpowered, you know, like the B23R and the Cap 40. So it has decent range, um, and I I like that. Um, so this is a fun class uh, when I don't really care. My, now the next class is is just speed, and a lot of times what you find is you have to have a class for all sorts of different scenarios. And this is the scenario where I feel like they're camping in their spawn, and I need to get over there to that area um, to find them. Or if I'm playing an objective game mode, it helps me get to that spot a lot faster. So. Just running around with this one using C4, and I've got attack insert if I need it to get advance into an area that I wanna I wanna do work in. Uh, the next class is my uh, when I when I need to have a good game or if we're losing. Um, this is my tryhard for class for sure with my favorite gun, and uh, instead of having equipment, I've just put the three attachments on it. So the weapon is as good as it can be. And then I'm running Ghost to stay off the radar and Hardline to get to my score streaks and toughness and dexterity. This is the best way that I know how to get to a score streak um, to, to get to the higher ones, this type of a class, because you're focused entirely on your gun and staying off the radar. Uh, so this usually, usually gets it done. The next class here, Assault Rush, it doesn't have lightweight or extreme conditioning, mostly because I don't find... Um, I need it with an assault rifle. I'm not going to be able to move that quick. There's so many people that are running around really fast with shotguns and SMGs. I'm not trying to compete with those with those uh, players when I'm using an assault rifle, but I want to be effective. So I'm trying to use the SCAR, um, silence it here, running fast mags and quick draw, because it, do it doesn't aim down sight very quickly, and the reload time is pretty slow. And I don't think I have extending clip unlocked yet. So I'm also running Ghost on this class. People are again running a lot of UAVs and I wasn't having too much success with this class until I started putting Ghost on it and then it, and then it turned out a little better. Now the next the next couple classes are going to be my light machine guns and I use the hammer uh, quite a bit. I really like it. I feel like it's very steady, very powerful and I want to show you guys a quick tip with this uh, holographic sight. I really like this if you're looking for a sight to put on your light machine gun or your single fire assault rifle or burst fire assault rifle, I would highly recommend you consider this holographic ED tech sight. And what I would do is you go to this sight right here and then you hit triangle and to change your reticule. And you could do this on the on the red dot and uh, and some of the other sites. And then choose this is the default, but it's too big in my opinion. Go over to this one, ED dot. The, this this circle is about the same size as their head. And uh, when I was going for headshots, it really was useful. It helped me get the headshots so much faster. And I also felt like I could really position that dot right on the enemy's chest if I had to. So I, I use that a lot. If you're not going to use Target Finder, which we all know is the most tryhard attachment in the game, um, it works really well. I'm not going to say I'm not going to lie there and, and tell you not to use it. But uh, if you want to be, challenge yourself a little bit more. The ED Tech site is with that reticule is really useful. 
I also run C4 and EMP grenades. These two are turning into my favorite pieces of equipment to use because they, they really frustrate people. Um, and basically, to keep this game interesting, you've got to do stuff that to keep you interested. And one thing that really does interest me is frustrating other people in this game. All right, so the next gun is the LSW. And I like this gun for running around a lot. I like to silence it. Again, it has the ED tech and extended clip. It's got a short magazine. I think it's like 75, um, so that makes it a little bigger. And then I got my shock charges uh, to defend my, my flank. LSAT, kind of similar. Um, uh, this I put flak jacket and tack mask on this uh, in case I need to be aggressive in like an objective game mode. This lets me do that. This right here, other than the bread and butter class that had the MSMC, this is my second favorite class in the game. Or second, you know, it's my second favorite class. Um, and I really love the KSG. If you're gonna, and I highly suggest you run, you try this weapon out. Don't, don't give up on it yet. Um, if you've tried to use it, you know, make sure you're aiming down sight, first of all, because it only fires a slug. And when you do aim down sight, it operates like a single fire assault rifle, like the SMR. And what I recommend you put on is long barrel and reflex. And I really like the, uh, this dot it's like a blue really small circle or you can just do the single dot those two I find work really well and then put long barrel on with it if you're gonna put a third attachment on this weapon I would recommend the quick draw it has a pretty big clip so I wouldn't recommend using the clip attachments and you're not gonna aim down sight very much so don't use the laser sight and suppressor just gonna reduce too much range so reflex long barrel and then if you want to add a third, I would go quick draw or stock. And then with this class, I'm running hardline toughness, dexterity, C4, and a concussion. So I have a lot of fun with this class, and I, and I hope you guys will try it out. Let me know if you like it. Okay, this is my MK48 class, and uh, this is more defensive. I've got my claymore, shock charges, and scavenger. I'm going to do a video on claymores, and so this helps me replenish them and have plenty of of uh, equipment to put down. And then this is my ultra defense class. Uh, what happens is I end up changing my classes and sometimes I lose sight of the fact that I need a class to be invisible. And this helps me do that. So I've got blind eye, cold blooded, uh, scavenger and engineer. I put scavenger on so I can replenish the black hats. And then I've got my launchers. So really I can just take stuff down um, consistently and have quite a bit of ammo plus the SWAT. Uh, has I put full metal jacket on that so if I need to shoot at any um, you know choppers I can do that yep so those are my 10 classes uh, they, they always change but I thought I would do a video and show you guys what that looks like and then real quick on score streaks um, I like to run the AGR stealth chopper and VSAT uh, I find that those work really well together all right hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and have a good day